Hello everyone, myself Sneha, volunteer of Applied Forensic Research Sciences. Today we are going to look at MCQ on the topic Forensic Medicine and Poisoning Part 61. First question is, Krogman's formula is related to option A, race, option B, age, option C, sex and option D, stature. Answer is option C, sex. Krogman's formula is formulated by Wilton M. Krogman. Anthropologists use various skeleton components to distinguish between a person's sex. Second question is, incidence of Turner's syndrome. Option A, 1 is to 500. Option B, 1 is to 1000. Option C, 1 is to 1500. And option D, 1 is to 2500. Answer is option D, 1 is to 2500. 1 in every 2500 live-born girls develop Turner's syndrome, which is a partial or complete monosomy of the X chromosome. Third question is, immediate reaction after death is option A, cadaveric spasm, option B, pugilistic attitude, option C, rigor mortis and option D, algor mortis. Then the answer of third question is option A, cadaveric spasm. Cadaveric spasm is a condition occur when a group of muscles that were actively utilized soon before death suddenly became stiff and inflexible. Fourth question is, Lendrum's stain is done for option A, air embolism, option B, fat embolism, option C, amniotic fluid embolism, option D, pulmonary embolism. Fourth question's answer is option C, amniotic fluid embolism. It is a fluid that surrounds a developing baby in the uterus which enters the bloodstream of the pregnant lady. So here, Lendron staining is used to detect fibrin in sealed skin grafts. Fifth question is, phalanche is option A, sitting in abnormal position, option B, hitting the feet with stick, option C, electric current for torture and option D, pulling off hair. Answer of fifth question is option B, hitting the feet with stick. It is also called foot whipping, phalanga, phalaka or bastinado. This is a technique used to humiliate someone by beating on the soles of their bare feet. Sixth question is emphysema aquasum is found in option A, dry drowning, option B, wet drowning, option C, immersion syndrome and option D, secondary drowning. Sixth question's answer is option B, wet drowning. After inhaling water, the lungs may become overinflated and fill the thoracic cavity, a condition known as emphysema aquasum, is a typically waterlogged. As a result, the surfaces of the lungs have marbling look, which patches of more aerated tissue intermingled with dark red sections connected to collapsed alveoli. Seventh question is, fatty yellow liver is seen in poisoning with option A, arsenic, option B, aconite, option C, oxalic acid and option D, mercury. Answer of seventh question is option A, arsenic. After ingestion or inhaling large concentration of arsenic, a condition known as arsenicosis develops. A carcinogen that is grey, silver or white in colour is arsenic. Humans are seriously poisoned by arsenic. Eighth question is, Minamata Bay disease refers to chronic toxicity with option A, ergot, option B, datura, option C, organophosphorus and option D, mercury. Answer of eighth question is, option D, mercury. Humans who consumed fish and shellfish poisoned by methyl mercury released in wastewater from a chemical plant developed the ailment known as Minamata disease. Ninth question is, a body is brought for autopsy. On postmortem, there is a dark brown postmortem staining and garlic odor in stomach. The poisoning is most likely due to option A, hydrocyanic acid, option B, carbon dioxide, option C, aniline dye, and option D, phosphorus. Ninth question's answer is option D, phosphorus. Elements of white or yellow phosphorus when consumed generally result in acute vomiting and diarrhea, both of which are described as burning luminescent and smelling like garlic. Dysarthmias, coma, hypotension and death are possible additional symptoms and indicators of severe poisoning. Question number 10. Priapism occur in option A, snake bite, option B, rat tea poisoning, option C, catharite poisoning and option D, arsenic poisoning. Answer of 10th question is option C, cantharide poisoning. The Spanish fly and other blister beetles secrete a poison called cantharidin. Cantharidin has a long history of usage as an abortifacient, vesicant and aphrodisiac.
ഇൻ അഡീഷൻ ടു റീനൽ ഫെയിലർ ഗ്യാസ്ട്രോ ഇൻഡസ്റ്റൈനൽ ആൻഡ് ജെനിറ്റോ യൂറിനറി മസ്ക്യുലർ ഇറിറ്റേഷൻ ആർ സയൻസ് ഓഫ് പോയിസണിങ് ലെവൻത്ത് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഈസ് ദ മോസ്റ്റ് റിലയബിൾ മെത്തേഡ് ഓഫ് എസ്റ്റിമേറ്റിംഗ് ബ്ലഡ് ആൽക്കഹോൾ ലെവൽ ഈസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ എ കാവറ്റ്സ് ടെസ്റ്റ് ഓപ്ഷൻ ബി ബ്രീത്ത് ആൽക്കഹോൾ അനലൈസർ ഓപ്ഷൻ സി ഗ്യാസ് ലിക്വിഡ് ക്രൊമറ്റോഗ്രഫി ആൻഡ് ഓപ്ഷൻ ഡി തിൻ ലെയർ ക്രൊമറ്റോഗ്രഫി ലെവൻത്ത് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ആൻസർ ഈസ് ഗ്യാസ് ലിക്വിഡ് ക്രൊമറ്റോഗ്രഫി ദിസ് ടെക്നിക് ഈസ് യൂസ്ഡ് ഇൻ എസ്റ്റിമേഷൻ ഓഫ് മിക്സ്റ്റേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ആൽക്കഹോൾ മിക്സ്റ്റേഴ്സ് ക്യാൻ ബി ഡിവൈഡഡ് യൂസിംഗ് ദ ഇൻസ്ട്രുമെൻറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ദ എമൗണ്ട് ഓഫ് ഈച്ച് കമ്പോണൻ ക്യാൻ ബി കാൽക്കുലേറ്റഡ് ദിസ് മെത്തേഡ് ഹാസ് ദ ബെനിഫിറ്റ് ഓഫ് അലോവിംഗ് ഫോർ ദ അനാലിസിസ് ഓഫ് വെരി സ്മോൾ സാമ്പിൾസ് ട്വൽത്ത് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഈസ് ആൻ അഡിക്റ്റഡ് പേഷ്യൻറ്റ് presenting with visual and tactile hallucinations has black staining of tongue and teeth the agent is option a cocaine option b cannabis option c heroin and option d opium answer of 12th question is option c heroin oral side effects include bruxism and have higher rates of decaying missing of teeth and tongue discoloration among heroin users 13th question is cyanide poisoning causes option a histotoxic anoxia option b anoxic anoxia option c anemic anoxia and option d stagnant anoxia 13th question's answer is option a histotoxic anoxia cyanide poisoning is a type of histotoxic hypoxia because the cells of an organism cannot use oxygen due to the suppression of cytochrome c oxidize enzyme A girl otherwise healthy sleeping on floor suddenly develops nausea vomiting abdominal pain and quadriplegia at night diagnosis is option A guillain barre syndrome and option B poliomyelitis option C crate bite and option D periodic paralysis answer of 14th question is crate bite when a crate bites a person cramping stomach pain diarrhea and collapse may result envenomation by a sea snake results in nausea vomiting thirst a thick tongue sensation and headaches it's critical to keep in mind that nausea and vomiting are frequent signs of all forms of acute envenomation 15th question is a 28 year old male patient is brought to casualty in comatose with pinpoint pupils reduced respiratory rate and bradycardia most likely diagnosis option a tricyclic antidepressant poisoning option b opioid poisoning option c benzodiazepine poisoning and option d organophosphorus poisoning 15th question's answer is option b opioid poisoning a combination of three signs and symptoms of an opioid overdose include pinpoint pupils unconsciousness and having trouble breathing thank you everyone for watching our video please like share comment on our video and subscribe our channel and click bell icon for getting new information regarding forensic science